Hello students, how are you all? Welcome back to our next session of maths. In the previous session, we did number work. Correct? Now, also today we will do number work. We will continue with part 2. Okay? Our lesson name is number work. Now, in the previous lesson, we learn about one digit number, two digit number, then uh, introduction of two digit number, then whole hundreds, hundreds. Okay, so we'll do a first a quick recap, then we'll proceed to our lesson. Now, biggest one digit number, which is the biggest one digit number? We did this in our last session. Yes, it is number nine. Biggest one digit number is number nine. Now, which is the smallest two digit number? Which is the smallest two digit number? 10. Yes. 10 is the smallest two digit number. The biggest two digit number is 99. Which is the biggest two digit number? Yes. The biggest two digit number is 9999. 100. 100 is the smallest three digit number. Now, 100 is not two digit number. A hundred has how many digit? Three digit. So, 100 is the smallest three digit number. H. H is written for hundreds. What it is written? H is written for hundreds. T. T is written for tens. What T is written for? T is written for tens. Okay. U. U is written for units. U is written for units. So now repeat. H is written for hundred. T is written for tens. U is written for units. Hundred means. What hundred means? Let us see. Hundred number has three digit. That is one zero zero. How we are going to write? We are going to write H1. Tens, that is tens value is 0. Unit, 0. Okay. From your left hand side you are going to read. On your left hand side the number 1. That is in 100 place. Tens, that is 0. And units, that is 0. H stands for 100. T stands for tens and U stands for unit. This is very important point. You have to remember this. Okay. Repeat after me. H stands for hundred. T stands for tens and U stands for unit. Now we will be doing reading and writing of three digit number. We are going to learn how we are going to write reading and writing of three digit number. Now, 100 we saw how we are going to write 100 in the hundreds place, tens place and units place. How we are going to write? The same way we are going to see different numbers. Now, see the number 3, 2, 7. What is the number? Number 3, 2, 7. That is from your left hand side, you are going to read the first number. Now, from your left hand side, which number is first? Number 3. That will be as 300. What we will read? 300. First, we will read the hundreds place. Always in three digit number, we are going to read first the hundred place digit and then we are going to read the other two digit together. Like the first number is 300. Then we are not going to read the second number as 2 and 7. No. We are going to read both the dig digits together. That is 27. So, what number will be formed? 327. First, we are going to write the spelling of 3. That is T-H-R-E-E. Then, we are going to write the spelling of 100. That is H-U-N-D-R-E-D. 100. Then, we are going to write and and then the spelling of 
20 T W E N T Y and then the spelling of 7 that is S E V E N 7. So the number is 327. Now the next number here the number is 405. First we will read from the left hand side the first number that is 400. Now our next number in tens place is 0 but here we are not going to write 0 number because 0 has no value. Okay, so we are going to write as 400 and what is the number in unit place? 5. So we are going to write the spelling of 5. So first we are going to write the spelling of 4 that is F O U R. Then we are going to write the spelling of 100 that is H U N D R E D 100. And then we are going to write and A N D and then F I V E 5. We are not going to write 0 spelling. 0 will have no value. Only the number 100 and the number unit. Okay. Now the next number. 6, 7, 0. That is 6, 7, 0. So first we are going to read the first number from our left hand side. That is 600. Okay. 6 is on 100 place. So we are going to write as 600 and here we are going to write 7, 0, 70 together. Now, here also 0 is there, but it is after tens. Okay? So, when we are writing 0 after tens, we are going to write both the digit together. What is the spelling of 6? S I S 6. So, we are going to write first 6 spelling, then 100 spelling, that is H U N T R E T, and then 70 spelling together that is S E V E N T Y. So a number we can read as 670. This number 101. Now 101. Our number is 101. Here also on tens place there is 0. So we are not going to write 0 value. 1. 100, we are going to write for 1 that is in hundreds place. So, what is 1 spelling? O N E 1. Then we are going to write 100 spelling that is H U N D R E D 100. And we are going to write O N E 1 that is in unit place. So, our number is 101. Now, read the next number 208. 208. 8. Here also from your left hand side first number will read as 2 that is T W O 2 H U N D R E D 100 it becomes 200 then again in tens place 0 is there so we are not going to write 0 or any number we are going to write and A N D and we are going to write E I G H T 8 so a number is 208. Now you see what you can see on your screen. Yes, there is one bag. But something is written on the bag. What it is written? Can you see what it is written? Yes, it is written H. What is written? H. And we learned what H stands for. H stands for 100. So how many bags we are having? We are having 100 bags. How many bags? 100. Because H stands for 100 and we are having one bag. So, how much? 100. Now here, what we can see in the picture? Yes, there are two bottles. How many bottles? Two bottles. On each bottle, one H is written. Correct? On each bottle, one H is written. So, we are having two bottles and two H. How many H? 2H. So, 2H makes how many hundred? 200 because 100 H stands for 100 and 1H is 100. So, 2H is 200. How much? 200. Now, here, what is this? Yes, pencils. How many H? There are 3H. 1, 2 and 3. H stands for 100. Correct. 
So how many hundred? Yes. Fast? Yes. 300. H stands for hundred. So we are having 300 pencil. 1 H for 100. So 3 H for 300. Now here, what are they? Yes. These are sacks. Now let us count. How many H are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many? 4. H stands for 100. And 1 H means 100. So 4 H means 400. So we are having 400. Now count the H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many H? 5. H stands for 100. So 1 H stands for 100. 5, 5 H means 500. Okay. How much? 500. Now 10 tens make a 100. That is 100. A group of 10 things make a 100. So 10 tens make a 100. That is 100. And numbers 1, 0, 0, 100. 20 tens make 200. A group of 20 tens make 200. That is 2, 0, 0, 200. 30 tens make 300. That is 3, 0, 0, 300. 40 tens make 400. That is 4, 0, 0, 400. A group of 40 tens make 400. That is 4, 0, 0. 50 tens. 50 tens means 500. A group of 50 tens means 500. That is 5, 0, 0 is 500. Now see, what you can see on your screen? Yes, there is one crayon box and one crayon is outside the box. Correct. And down we are having three column. That is 100 tens and unit. Now see on your crayon box what it is written. Yes, it is written as H. And H stands for 100. How many H? 1 H. Okay, so in 100 column we will write as 1. In tens, has tens value. Is there any tens value? No, it is not there. But unit, how many unit is outside the box? It is 1. So we are going to write 1 in unit place. So what is our number? What number is 1, 100 and 1. What is our number? 1, 100 and 1. Now see. Here, what you can see on your screen? A color box. Correct? And what is written on the color box? Yes, it is written H. But outside the crayon box, how many crayons are there? There are two crayons. So, 1H, that is 100. Tens value is not there. So, it's 0. Unit. How many unit are outside the box? 2. So, our number is 100 and 2. Our number is 102. Now we will see how to make 3 digit number using each of the given digit only once. We will make 3 digit number but we will use each of that given digit only one time. Okay. Now see there is one triangle. On a triangle on top see you can see the number 1 then down number 2 and opposite to that number 3. This three numbers are there. With this three numbers, that is three digit numbers, we are going to form three digit numbers. Okay. That is one, two and three. First number what we form? One, two, three. Then the second number, that is one. Then we will take three in tens place and unit. That is 132. The next number, two, one, 3 that is 230. Next number 231 that is 231. 312 that is 312. 3 
to 1 that is 321. So here with these three numbers we form six different numbers okay of three digits. Now the next number. See here also a triangle is there. On top you can see the number 3 then the number 0 and then the number 5. From these three numbers we are going to form three digits number okay. Now here we have to note that 0, 3, 5 and 0, 53 we can't use them because they are not three digit numbers okay because 0 will have no value if we write before number. These are written as 35 and 53 and 35 and 53 are only two digit number. 35 and 53 are not three digit number okay. So 0, 35 and 0, 53 number can't be formed. Now we will form another number 305 that is 305, 350 that is 350, 530 that is 530 and on top see the cloud that is 503 that is 503. Now let us see the next number 495 what is our number? On top 4 and then 9 down and 1, 5. Now the first number we are going to form is 495. That is 495. The next number will be 549. That is 549. The next number 459. That is 459. 945 that is 945 594 that is 594 so from this three numbers we formed five three digit number now this is a activity for you i hope you all understood the lesson very much and very nicely now you will do this activity in your one number book and in the next session i am going to discuss this you will make three digit number using each of the given digits only once. Okay. So till then take care. See you soon and continue doing your studies. Bye.